Welded components are found in a wide variety of industrial equipment. In SOLIDWORKS 2013, creating these structures is even easier with support for multi-body library features to add common weld components like plates and new ways to document non-structural members in the cut list. Let me show you. This frame weldment needs a mounting pad for the levelling feet. So that we'll have a clean design, we want to recess these plates inside the tube and to do that, we'll use the new multi-body library feature. Just like any other library feature, you choose the placement plane and references, in this case the four inside edges of the tube. Then you have the option to modify any dimensions to meet your design requirements and you're done. These plates can then be patterned to the other vertical supports to complete the design. But we're not finished yet. Each of the new items are listed in the cut list and a quick update organises identical items into their own folders. Notice that the description has not yet been specified for the new levelling plates. With SOLIDWORKS 2013, the process of adding parametric properties for each of the cut list items has been automated. 3D bounding boxes can be created for all items in the cut list and SOLIDWORKS identifies the smallest possible box that each item will fit into. The dimensions are stored as cut list properties that are used to populate the description field. Of course, if changes are made, the information in the cut list is automatically updated. Just imagine how much time you'll save with multi-body library features and automatic cut lists for plates and end caps the next time you create a weldment in SOLIDWORKS 2013.